of the Slavics and the uh, Gypsies took place. Uh, Rommel never served on the Eastern Front. He only went to Russia once for a conference. Um, the rank of field marshal uh, got some people in trouble who probably shouldn't have been. Uh, the only field marshal uh, who survived the war who uh, was not uh, given some sort of sentence was uh, Baron uh, Maximilian von Velsis, who served in the Balkans primarily, but also the Eastern Front, partially responsible for Stalingrad. But uh, he was a devout Catholic, and uh, he wasn't involved in the mass murders. Um, so, uh, I, of course, I don't have a crystal ball, but uh, I don't think they would have gone after Rommel. Uh, I think uh, he was considered too much of a good guy. That's what makes him so interesting because you've mentioned the positive aspects of his legacy that he did want to treat prisoners of war, for example, according to international wartime conventions, but is tied to Nazi Germany. So that's what makes him complicated to many people who study history of this period. So why do you think it's important for readers to study figures like Rommel? History is the, as Toynbee said, uh, uh, History of the world is nothing but the biography of great men. I don't agree with that 100%, but there's some degree of truth in it. And uh, I think we have a lot to learn from people uh, like Rommel. Um, people are very confused about history today. I mean, you can see that at the, uh, the big monuments controversy. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't want to tear down the Robert E. Lee uh, monuments because... Uh, uh, you know, he was fighting for slavery, but Robert E. Lee, in fact, opposed both secession and slavery. But you can't say anything bad about the Muslims, but they were deeply involved in the slave trade, uh, starting as early as the ninth century. So uh, there's a lot of uh, lot of historic confusion out there. Um, how could Rommel support Hitler? Well, in 1933... Uh, It'd be very easy, I think. In 1944, he tried to kill him. Thank you for shedding light on all these different topics. The name of your book is Desert Fox, A Story and Military Career of Erwin Rommel. Sandy, thank you for joining us, and you are always active producing new works of history, so I'm sure we'll have you on again in the future. Hey, I appreciate it. I'm uh, very flattered that I'm uh, the first one invited for the second time. Yeah, glad to have you. Thank you. Well, that's all I have for today. There's probably a million other things that could be said, but I think this is a good stopping point. As always, I want to thank the Knowlton's Rangers, especially our spy masters. Josh Reddick, Baron Fraza, Chris from Maine, Carl from Norway, Moondoggy from Ohio, Rick Knowlton, Vic and Irene, Mike from New York, Michelle, and Marlene. I'll explain what that is in a second. If you like the show and want to help it grow, there are four easy ways for you to do it. One, like and subscribe to the show on the podcast player of your choice. This helps spread the word about the show. Two, join our Facebook group. Here we can keep the discussion going about new episodes and you can talk about what you like and didn't like. And you can find this group if you just search for History Unplugged on Facebook. Three, we have an online store with t-shirts, phone covers, and other accessories featuring awesomely bad history puns that were crowdsourced by you, the audience. And you can find that if you go to teespring.com slash stores slash history dash unplugged. That's teespring.com slash stores slash history dash unplugged. Four, and this is really the best way to dive deep with History Unplugged, and that's to become one of the Knowlton's Rangers. If you know your American history, you know the Knowlton's Rangers were an elite spy and reconnaissance group in the American Revolutionary War, but it's also the name of the membership program of History Unplugged. You can join at three levels. If you join at the level of Scout, you can hear all the episodes of History Unplugged completely ad-free and get early access to new episodes, at least a week early. If you join at the Intelligence Officer level, you get special bonus episodes, like a 10-part series on the World War II hero Audie Murphy, a multi-part series called Ottoman Lives about different people in the Ottoman Empire, and a series called Rendezvous with Death that looks at biographical profiles of Americans who went to fight in World War I before America entered the war. The last level is Spy Master, where you get all that stuff, but you also get three hardcover history books, Forging a President, How the Wild West Created Teddy Roosevelt, Race to the Top of the World, Richard Byrd and the First Flight to the North Pole, and The Last Fighter Pilot, the true story of the final combat mission of World War II. Another bonus is you can choose a history topic for me to focus on for an entire episode that can go up to an hour, and I'll answer whatever question you have for me, and you get a shout out at the end of each episode. If you want to learn how to become a member of the Knowlton's Rangers, 
go to patreon.com slash unplugged. That's patreon.com slash unplugged. All right, well, that is all for my spiel. Thanks for listening to the History Unplugged podcast from ancient Greece to the Cold War and everything else in between. See you next time.